what you want from me. The names, Barry. Give me the name. What? I don't know any names. Look over there. Holy shit! <coughs> I don't know what household you're brought up in, but we don't talk like that around here. In 15 seconds, Yolanda's gonna have that iron so piping hot, we're gonna get a brand. You're gonna look so hipster, Barry. No one wants to look hipster. Give me the names. Why? Uh, uh, Donald Trump, uh, John Key, uh, the artist formerly known as Prince, Darth Vader, Kermit the Frog, pioneering scientist who invented the alternating current Nikolai Tesla. Please, no, I don't know any, any names. Those aren't the names. Uh, no, 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 please. Ah! <laughs> So if you want to recreate this burn but don't want to have this icky smell of burning flesh, I'm going to show you how. So using an iron, I now apply some grease-based paint. Of course you got to make sure that it's not hot. We don't want to have any injuries for real. Making the skin nice and dry before applying the iron to the skin. Now the grease paint will transfer onto the skin, giving you a perfect outline of where you need to put your effects. It being grease paint, of course we want to use some powder to set it, otherwise it might end up smudging too fast. Now I'm using gelatin that I heated up in the microwave. Always check the gelatin on your own skin first and see if it's too hot. So with the gelatin, we're creating some blisters on the points where the steam comes out of the iron and also a nice little ridge on the edge. This will create the indent and will make it look a lot deeper and more realistic. Using a burns and blisters wheel, I am now filling in some extra color, creating more depth with the darker red around all the gelatin bits, making that skin look really sore and red and agitated. Gelatin tends to be very shiny and sticky, so with a bit of powder, you will be able to remove that. Now with a bit of red powder, I add a little bit more redness on the other side of the gelatin. Again, making that skin look more sore and painful. Using a baby wipe, getting rid of all that powdery look. And then I'm using a little bit of our RFX slime to make it all look a lot more juicy. Just the smallest hint of blood will make it look a lot more painful. Join us again next week for some more handy makeup tips. Get over yourself, Barry. <laughs> Chicks, dick, scars. Oh, so hot. Mm. <laughs>